Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to why the Trinity is necessary by inspiring philosophy. Yes, finally, we're reacting to a Christian-made YouTube video that explains the Trinity to us. Not only my Christian viewers felt alienated because I reacted to so many Islamic videos, but moreover, I had Christians storm over to my channel and call me an undercover Muslim. Yes, Yes, I am practicing Takia. I hope I pronounced that right. As a Muslim, I should of course know how to pronounce it. I am deceiving my viewers, they said. I am a Muslim that pretends to be a Christian. I'm doing Dawah here on my channel and I'm here to debunk Christianity. Guys, I've heard many outrageous claims on the internet, but this one definitely takes the cake. I do not take any offense in it, however. It is the internet after all. I heard that I never was a real vegan. I heard that I never was a Macedonian. I heard all kinds of creative stories about me since I'm doing YouTube. Nevertheless, to clarify, yes, I come from a Christian Orthodox background. No, I haven't converted to Islam. Yes, I'm genuinely learning about Islam. Islam and yes I'm still learning about Christianity so with no further ado let's have a look at Christian YouTube today let's see if the Trinity holds up or not why is the Trinity a necessary doctrine for Christianity do not Jehovah Witnesses Mormons and other groups love and worship the same Jesus I have to stop the video right there. This is exactly my problem, the worshipping of Jesus. This is why I question Christianity to begin with, dear fellow Christians. Nowhere in the Bible I could see that Jesus wanted to be worshipped. And moreover, logically, I don't understand how anybody actually would come to the conclusion to worship Jesus and not God alone. Why does it matter if they deny- Yes, I'm an undercover Muslim. He is ontologically God. I think many people, including many Christians, do not realize how essential the Trinity is for Christianity and have come to overlook it. So why do I adamantly defend this doctrine? Why is it so important? And why are groups who deny the Trinity excluded from Orthodox Christianity? Well, denying the Trinity has several problems in terms of Christian salvation. If Jesus isn't God and is just a created being, then should we pray to him? No. The Bible clearly calls us to pray to Jesus. But if he isn't the omniscient eternal God, can he truly answer all our prayers? No. Also, are we to reject Paul's teaching of worshiping the Creator and not the created? Because the Bible clearly exactly. teaches we are to worship Christ. So how could we say he is a creature of God if we are told not to worship the created? Most importantly, we are attributing salvation. But where does the Bible tell you you should worship Christ? Salvation to a created being, Read and not God Himself. Sometimes it really feels like I read a different Bible. Is any created being who is by definition limited in power, knowledge, and love really able to take the full weight of our salvation and save us from our sins? No. The Bible also says salvation only comes from the Lord. But it yes. was Christ on the cross who atoned for our sins and gave us salvation. So only God can atone for our sins, not a created being. So by deduction, whoever was on the cross had to also be God. We right. also make God less loving and powerful. But even if we believe that the crucifixion itself was needed for our salvation, within the biblical context, it would mean that God sacrificed his only son for us. That is the biblical context. Now, if you believe that Jesus was God, that would mean that God sacrificed himself for us and then raised himself yet again whilst being dead from the dead. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So that was the part that was always confusing to me. How would an ever-living God kill himself, raise himself up again, and this somehow then would make him, God, able to forgive our sins? How? We also make God less loving and powerful, being that he couldn't or would not willingly come himself to save us but instead sent a created being to do a job he says only he can do. 
This may but if God needed to save us, he wouldn't even have to come into creation to do that. Makes God distant and slightly apathetic towards us. Since he Who is he defending us from? From his own judgment? He only sent a servant to do something that is considered the most important and loving act in the history of mankind. So basically the Trinity is very essential for Christian salvation. Only God can offer salvation. Thus Christ yeah. must also be God, as he clearly taught. How do you come up with this? Where did Jesus clearly teach that he was God? If the Spirit isn't God, then it is just a created being or an impersonal force that leads us, renews our minds, and sanctifies us. The Bible says it is the Holy Spirit that guides and sanctifies us. And Jesus said only God is good. So yes. how could a created being or an impersonal force that is not perfect like God be able to sanctify and perfect us. Wow, man, the mental gymnastics are absolutely insane. Jesus himself said that he is not good, only God is good. So denying the Trinity is a dangerous position to take, What's and why the church here? has declared those who have as heretical. Jesus and the Holy Spirit did and said things only God could do. So denying they are ontologically God is to make a mockery of the gospel and trust in created beings for salvation. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. I haven't watched Christian content in a while now. You guys recommended this video to me. No, I didn't pick and choose this video exactly to debunk Christianity yet again. I honestly looked at this video in the hopes that it will be rational and it will be explanatory. But as you can see, it was nothing but mental gymnastics. What number comes between two and four? Beetlejuice. Start from one. The prophecy is true. 36. Um. All right. As always, I'm giving you my transparent, unfiltered view. When I see videos like this, I just see confusion. I just see justifications. Essentially, I just see giant copes. And now, after learning about Islam for over a year, I have to say in direct comparison, Islam is so clear and Christianity leads to so much confusion. Even in this video, it was so extremely confusing to watch, man. This guy seemed like he doesn't know what he's talking about at all but he looked for justifications he said that if the crucifixion was necessary then jesus must be god he said jesus said only god is good but somehow jesus is god after all i do see now that all of those concepts for example the salvation through the cross can lead then to the assumption of the trinity because otherwise there would be no rational within that worldview explanation for the christian doctrine even if we look at the graphic of this video you can see that the father has been placed up top intuitively we humans know of course that the father in this context is God himself then we see that from the father the son is eternally begotten however within the Christian doctrine Jesus is considered the word and this is based of course on in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God but that means in the beginning with a beginning we already have a time frame and God is eternal he has no beginning no end he is the alpha and the omega so if we use the terminology in the beginning we already have a creation and with that even if we then would assume that Jesus is the word of God we would have to assume that in the beginning he created him. If you look to the left side, we see eternally proceeds from the Father, which is the Holy Spirit that is as eternal as the Father because it is an attribute coming from the Father. Down here, you can see an interaction then between the Holy Spirit and the Son, and everything is connected through love, eternal and divine one essence but nothing is really said about god who sits in the middle of this graphic here everything comes from the father this is where i personally see the confusion the father is of course the real god here the father is who jesus in this context the son prayed to and who should be worshipped this is what jesus preached over and over again this is what we see within the bible <laughs> 
Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut it off here. For me, it is crystal clear. God is God. Jesus is Jesus. Jesus worships God. He told us to worship God as well. We shouldn't worship Jesus. Case closed. Anyways, I'm still open-minded enough to respond to more Christian videos. If you want me to respond to some, then post them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for that. All right, but this is it. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.